Hi everyone, it's Sabrina from Sabrina and Sterling. I am bringing you this special update to discuss an important issue that has been affecting our community. Today we are going to talk about the recent videos that Dark Journalist has been posting about Corey Good. For those of you who do not know who Corey Good is, he is a whistleblower who claims to be in contact with extraterrestrials that he calls the Blue Avians. To many people, Corey Good's story is far-fetched and understandably so. He says that there are bases on the moon and on Mars, and he claims that there is a secret space program. The problem is, he has little to no proof of his personal experiences. However, there is plenty of proof for there to actually be a secret space program. There are many other whistleblowers who speak of a secret space program, and then there's also Gary McKinnon, who's kind of the Edward Snowden of UFOs, who hacked into NASA. And proof, there's a secret space program. If you would like further information on that topic, let us know in the comments, but that is a story in itself too deep to go into today. Corey Good is relatively new on the UFO scene, but he is quickly gaining attention with his secret space program adventures. Unfortunately, lately, it has not been all positive attention. Daniel M. Rollabard, a YouTuber, who also goes by the name of Daniel List, on his show Dark Journalist, has been attacking Corey Good, Roger Richards, also known as Roger Richards Ramsar or Emma Gold, Justin Deschamps, Jordan Sather, Teresa Yonaros, David Wilcock, Gaia TV, and Dr. Michael Sala. Dark Journalist, as he is most often addressed, has produced a series of videos claiming that Corey Good is a disinformation agent and is deceiving his followers with a corporation-like marketing campaign. This is causing a division in the community that Sterling and I have been so happy to see bloom and expand in these recent years. It has been very hard for Sterling and I to decide on what, if anything, we should do about the situation. In fact, we even produced a video that we decided not to use. We realized that we needed to come at this with as much love as possible. We do not wish to take down Dark Journalist, nor feed his negative energy. Instead, in this first episode of the multi-part series, we will review and analyze his guest and his supporting arguments. We will also look at Dark Journalist himself and try to understand his true motives for this smear campaign. The first three videos on the Corey Good topic contain a forum owner and researcher, Bill Ryan. Bill Ryan is one of the founders of Project Avalon and of Project Camelot. Corey Good first appeared as a whistleblower on Ryan's forum under a pseudonym. At the time, Corey Good worked in the IT industry and did not want anyone to know his real name. Unfortunately for him, he became involved with the wrong people, and his real name was announced to the public. During this time, he was also in contact with two of the reporters who were part of the forum, Christine Anderson and Carrie Cassidy. When presenting his case, Bill Ryan has made many claims that he has not verified and it's apparent that dark journalists did not care to verify them either. Which is interesting because that's exactly what they claim the opposition is doing. This became a theme throughout Dark Journalist's three-part video series with Bill Ryan. Ryan claimed that Good was on disability and medications and didn't seem to have a lot of money. This was Ryan's first red flag that Good is a liar. For in Ryan's mind, if Good lied about his IT profession, how can we be expected to trust him about any of his experiences? This is sound logic, and we completely agree. It would be hard to trust a person who was lying about claims that can be proven to tell the truth about claims that at this time can't be proven. However, the only evidence that Ryan offers to claim Corey Good was lying about his IT credentials is two forum members who know a lot of technical geeky stuff about computers and the net. Yes, those are his actual words, geeky stuff. Who looked at Corey's statements 
and concluded that there was absolutely no way he is an IT expert as claimed. What's interesting to me is it appears dark journalist took absolutely no time to research this extremely unsupported claim that veers into the realm of he said, she said. If he only took a few minutes to research, he could have found Good's LinkedIn account, which has all of the jobs that Corey Good has worked posted there. Now granted, they could be made up. However, there are awards and comments from supervisors and colleagues posted on the ExoPolitics website to confirm Corey Good's claims. One of the awards was signed by Robert Triplett, who is currently the senior vice president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas, Texas. Based on the only evidence, as Ryan has presented none, for now, the only conclusion that we can make is that Bill Ryan's arguments discredit Corey Good based on him lying about his IT career is invalid. When speaking of Good, Bill Ryan said, as responsible researchers, we have to reject his testimony because it is not reliable and it cannot be counted upon. Ryan himself is making claims that he has no proof of, therefore making them unreliable and making it hard for us to count on any of his testimony. What is worse? is that with diligent research, Ryan could have called all of the offices on Good's LinkedIn account and confirmed whether or not he was ever contracted there. It is a lot harder for Good to get a picture of an advanced race of alien beings. Unfortunately, for dark journalist, him relying on Bill Ryan as a resource puts his journalistic integrity into question. In listening to Ryan's opinions, for at this point, that's all they are, opinions, Dark Journalist has become exactly what he's accusing other journalists of being. Now, if Dark Journalist was keeping an open mind and exploring all possibilities, there would be nothing wrong with him reporting on Ryan's opinion. Just as there is nothing wrong with David Wilcock, Dr. Michael Sala, Gaia TV, and others reporting on Corey Good's information. However, Dark Journalist has taken Ryan's testimony and is actively trying to create a division in the alternative community. Ryan's second claim that Corey Good is not telling the truth and is not trustworthy is based off recorded interviews that Christine Anderson did of Corey when he was on medications and disability which Ryan was fully aware of during his interviews with Dark Journalist. However, in a double-think-like fashion, Ryan completely ignores the effect medications have on a person. Ryan claims that he spent 12 to 15 hours editing Christine Anderson's interview of Corey to make him sound good. Ryan said good was hesitant, fumbling, unclear, and apologized for being on meds. And Ryan said that he edited Corey to make him seem smarter. And instead of understanding all of this, all of this pain that Good must have been in, Dark Journalist decides to call this version one of Good. Dark Journalist says that version two of Good approached David Wilcock with a tighter, more polished, and different story. This is one of the many times that Dark Journalist attempted to lead and put words in his guests' mouths. But Ryan corrected him by saying it wasn't that he made it different, it was that he amplified it and magnified it a hundredfold. Ryan claims that there are things Good told Wilcock and Gaia TV that he never told Ryan and Christine Anderson. 
Ryan does admit that it could be possible that Good has had more recovered memories, but claims that it's unlikely because Good has never gone through regression therapy. Instead, Ryan goes on to provide circumstantial, <coughs> at best, evidence that he was told by someone to be intelligence community related that supposedly someone remotely activated Good's webcam microphone and recorded him and his wife Stacy during a conversation where they were discussing what they were planning on telling David Wilcox. At this point, I think we should all let out a collective sigh. Ryan admits he has no evidence of this. No recording, no vetting that this unnamed person is actually who he says he is. And more importantly to this community, no proof of whose side this person is on. Dark journalist and Bill Ryan's entire issue with good is that he has no evidence to back up any of his claims, but yet here they are doing the exact same thing again. In addition, they are also ignoring several possibilities. The terms version one and version two of Corey Good used only to sensationalize the topic can be easily explained without ill intent. In version one, Good was on medications. In version two, he was slowly getting off the medications as his body began to heal. Good himself has talked about this, and you can still see it in the early Gaia TV interviews. As someone who has studied medications professionally myself and taken them after surgeries, I can completely understand what Corey is going through. As I'm sure anyone who has ever taken medications can, they put your brain in an altered state and make it hard to concentrate and form coherent thoughts. The simplest explanation is often the most accurate one, and in this case, the expression holds true. Good seems to have two different versions of himself because version one was heavily medicated, in pain, and it was the first time he had ever told a story. In version two, Corey Good was coming off the medications as his body healed, and he was going through a spiritual enlightenment. In addition, of course, Good has told Wilcock more than he told Christine Anderson and Bill Ryan, because Ryan said that he only edited 12 to 15 hours of video. And of those 12 to 15 hours, they were not of high quality because as Ryan said, Good seemed hesitant and didn't have it all together. Whereas there are now seven seasons of Cosmic Disclosure on Gaia TV. Good would have had to hold the Guinness Book of World Records for fastest talker in the world in order to put seven seasons worth of information into a 12 to 15 hour recording. Dark journalist and Bill Ryan's third claim is that Corey Good is a disinformation agent. Dark Journalist shows a screenshot between Corey Good and another unknown person and presents this as proof that Corey is on the payroll of the deep state. At this point, at the risk of sounding unprofessional, I am trying very hard not to let out another deep sigh. Once again, they are presenting evidence without proof. However, this time, I have to seriously question not only their journalistic integrity, but their journalistic skills. In just a few moments, anyone can find questionable qualities of this text. Unknown person. Yeah, my girlfriend has a few like that too. Take care, man. Chat soon.
Corey Good. Well, got to go. Get the kid to bed. I fully understand you are now on the payroll. So am I. It is what it is. Unknown person. When you get back on and read this, was it someone in a program who told you you're not likely to hear from me or a forum friend? Corey Good. No, it was a supervisor. Chat later. First, as others have pointed out, there is this strange edit icon next to Good's payroll text. However, the most interesting part appears when one looks at the service provider name and time at the top of the screen. TELUS is a service provider in Canada, which would mean that the unknown person at the other end of this text is somewhere in the North American time zone. Assuming Corey is at home because he is going to get the kid to bed, that would place him in Dallas, Texas, which is in the Central Standard Time Zone. Now the time on the phone is 12.58 p.m. If the unknown person was in the Eastern Standard Time, that would put it at 11.58 a.m. Central Standard Time. If the unknown person was in the Pacific Coast, that would put it at 2.58 p.m. Central Standard Time. Which means that Corey Good is putting his kid to bed sometime in the late morning to early afternoon. Who does that? This evidence leads me to believe that either dark journalist and or Bill Ryan are disinformation agents or they are passing along information from disinformation agents without even taking the smallest teeny tiniest amount of time to research the information. In either case though, we are faced with a situation where we cannot trust either one of these gentlemen's information. This is especially true when you look at the type of person that Bill Ryan is. He mentions Christine Anderson as another person that does not believe Corey Good's story. But what he doesn't mention is Anderson's feelings towards him. She claims that Good was trying to prove that Ryan was a disinformation agent. According to Anderson, this caused Ryan to go on the war path to try and discredit Corey Good. Ryan belittled him publicly condemned him in Skype chats, and expressed emotions of rage. She goes on to say that Ryan was actively attacking and triggering Corey. To be clear, it does not appear that Anderson is a supporter of Good, but she clearly believes that Ryan did not behave in a professional manner towards Corey. Another name that Bill Ryan likes to throw around as not believing good is Carrie Cassidy, who is the co-founder, along with Ryan, of Project Camelot that was created as a safe place for whistleblowers to come forward anonymously. Like Ryan does with Anderson, he downplays his split with Cassidy as well. For a time, Cassidy was silent about her split with Ryan. But when Ryan started making untrue public statements, she felt she could no longer remain silent. According to Carrie Cassidy, Ryan decided to publicly debunk and out two of Project Camelot's whistleblowers. Cassidy writes, the statements of Bill Ryan with regard to Illuminati takeover of Camelot are not only completely unfounded, but a subterfuge to cover gross errors in judgment that led him to cast two whistleblowers to the dogs. In severe disregard of his pledge to uphold the mission of Camelot and in violation of all that Project Camelot claims to stand for. 
Cassidy continues to say Ryan will go to great lengths to show the world that one was an unbalanced hoaxer and the other is, he believes, acting as an agent of the Illuminati in a dark plot to take down Camelot. Neither is true. Neither is true. So here you have Carrie Cassidy letting the world know exactly what Bill Ryan's plans are. Bill Ryan's plans are to purposely make Corey Good look like he is lying. Look like he is deceiving everyone. That is the truth. Now to be clear, neither Anderson nor Cassidy discuss whether or not they believe Good's story in these articles. The point of these articles is to show the type of person that Bill Ryan is. With the evidence presented in this video, it is clear that we cannot trust Bill Ryan as a source of information. It is also clear that dark journalists did not do research regarding Ryan's claims. Unfortunately, based upon dark journalists' other videos, which we will discuss in the next episode in this series, it would seem that dark journalist does not want to look into the facts and he wants to make good and anyone associated with him look like money hungry liars. At this point, we must start questioning the motives of dark journalist. Why is he set on attacking Corey Good and anyone associated with him? What does he have to gain? Why does he want to create a division in the secret space program, UFO, and spiritual community? Is Dark Journalist a disinformation agent? Or does he just want attention? If it is the latter, Dark Journalist, we invite you back to the light. We invite you to look at the issues from a perspective of love. If you do not believe good, that's fine. If you want to question Good's story, that's fine too. You should question it, as you should question everything. However, we invite you to do so in a way that does not cause conflict. In the UFO community, we have to stick together in order to become mainstream. You already have a following. You already have interviews with top UFO researchers. Please realize that at this point, all you are doing is creating conflict. And eventually, the people in this community will no longer want to listen to you. In addition, if you continue to provide the type of research, or lack thereof, that you did in this interview, you will discredit yourself. If it is the former, please know that we love you we respect you and we wish you well and we consciously move your negative energy to the side. Thank you for watching this special update video. If you like what we're doing with our channel, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you're notified every time that we update our videos. Also